Hey you guys, it's Molly here with Design Loves Detail and today I'm starting a new series talking about some of my favorite upcoming trends that I'm seeing in both new construction and remodels and I think you guys are gonna love this, so stay tuned. All right, before we dive into this first one, I wanted to just introduce myself real quick. So I am Molly with Design Loves Detail. I'm an interior designer by trade, but at this point I don't do any client work. My husband and I mostly just stay busy with our own projects doing remodels and we're building a home and then we document those both through Instagram and here on YouTube. We'd love to have you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. This trend today is is one that I even, I have kind of a hard time calling it a trend because it's something that I have actually incorporated into my designs for years, but it is getting a lot of steam as far as picking up in the design world with remodels and new construction. So many people are doing this. It is the built-in China cabinet. Have you guys been seeing more of that? I have definitely. The thing that's so great about it is that to me, it really is both form and function together. It's beautiful and then it provides storage. Usually I like to incorporate both closed storage on the lower portion and open storage above with the glass doors. And it really helps break up the cabinetry because in a lot of kitchens, the cabinets can become kind of redundant and sometimes overwhelming when you have so much of the same feeling and shape. And so we're seeing you know, a lot of uh, these China cabinets mixed in to help break up that kind of visual sameness. I love it because there's just so many options that you can do with it. The first one that I remember doing was actually in the second home we built. I really wanted one in our first home too, but the budget would not allow, so I had to get like a freestanding one that I found online. Um, I used to refinish and buy furniture on, um, from like Craigslist and stuff like that all the time. The second home, we were able to save up a little bit more. Um, and put toward cabinetry, which was exciting because I was able to make this kind of whole wall of storage. And it was when the white cabinets were new on the scene. This was in, I think, 2013, 2014, when I was designing this home. And so I drew this, this expansive wall with the glass doors and I did the seated glass. So it had a little bit of, you know, that maybe antique look to it. And then I did the X detail above because this home was kind of coastal farmhouse was kind of the style. It gave us a ton of storage and this was one of my favorite elements of that kitchen. And of course it was like, you know, eight or so years ago that I designed it, but I still think it is a very relevant uh, design and kitchen, which is cool to see that it's kind of stayed so fresh, even with trends changing. But it's fun, it's fun to look back on kind of past projects because I can see where I initially started to um, bring these visions to life. When I think about the china cabinet, the built-in china cabinet, I think my first memory of seeing them was at my grandma's house when I was a kid. She lived in Washington State and we'd go visit her sometimes and not very often. So my, all my memories of going there were super vivid. And what's funny is one of the things I remember most, right when you'd walk into her home, it was like a, an old craftsman bungalow, probably built in the early 1900s. So it was an older home. Um, but you would see on this back wall, this beautiful built-in that had the glass doors on the upper portion and drawers below. And I can still see it in my mind. It was just like so impressive to me, even as a child, like I was so young, but I thought that that was so incredible and beautiful. And you know, she had her dishes in there and little things um, that she'd collected over the years. I think that that's when it like kind of, it kind of made its way into my heart and, and became something I wanted to incorporate into my designs. So many design trends or design elements that we we like to bring into homes really are tied to kind of an emotional response to things or some some nostalgic element I think. And that's what I think in general we're seeing a lot in home construction is almost a, a throwback to the time when these types of built-in cabinets were done almost all the time in homes and they were handcrafted by, you know, and had that more artisan feel, handmade feel that I just love. And so I think that overall we're seeing a lot of the styles kind of go back to that, that more um, handcrafted feel. That being said, on to the next design. When we built our third home, which you guys probably are more familiar with, uh, the European organic modern uh, home, that's kind of when I really defined my style and was like, this is like, this is what I love. So we built that home and I designed this cabinet with my um, cabinet company, Deco Design, and we were able to make it, bring in that European feel and then also still keep it nice and modern and fresh. I love having the closed storage on the bottom and the glass doors uh, above and, and the scale of this one was just so beautiful. I love to, um, I tied in that 
white oak that we used on the cabinet over into the kitchen around the hood. We just wrapped a piece around that, um, that hood portion that I designed so that it's still modern fresh and it brings that warmth from either side where the cabinet is and then also over to where the range is so that both of those kind of are cohesive and and just really warm up that space to give it that feeling of still being homey even though we had high ceilings and a more modern take in that kitchen it really was such a a beautiful piece for displaying just one of my favorite little moments in that house for the next one i designed it was actually in our remodel home that we live in now and i wanted to bring even more of that european feel because of course we have our stone wall in the kitchen and so it has that raw type of element to it and I wanted to bring that over of course too with our built-in china cabinet to the little dining nook and we had a small space to work with here but I knew that kind of utilizing this space would be really good for storage and then would also just customize the whole look of this this little nook. This one I went with the unique arch door and luckily my friends over at Prestige Woodworks they were able to make that happen for me because they hadn't done a cabinet with this type of door before and it was kind of a tricky one because I just drew them a picture just like I usually do. Luckily both Deco Design and Prestige Woodworks have been great with just taking my drawings and bringing them to life. It's actually so amazing to see. So this one I went for a little bit different in terms of color too. This one's called Benjamin Moore Baby Fawn and it's kind of that grayish, really soft muted tone between the grays and beige tones. So it's right in the middle and it looks amazing with the wall color too which is Benjamin Moore's China White. Both of those together I think are really pretty and have a warmth about them that is so inviting. So this cabinet of course we did still do the lower portion as closed storage. I think that's just so important to be able to have a place to tuck away the things that are maybe less pretty and then the upper portion you can display the stuff you love. This one turned out really cute and I love uh, that uniqueness with the arch door for sure. Poof, how to wreck. So the last one we're gonna talk about is one that is from a really recent project you guys might recall from the flip home. This one is another one I worked on with Prestige Woodworks and it just turned out so cool. It's massive in the scale and what's unique about this one is it is a little bit more modern feeling. So we did that kind of do black door frame that really stands out and I think separates it from some of the other ones I've done in the past um, because it just has that really clean modern edge to it. Still I think timeless and classic but um, but definitely its own thing with that that black door that we were able to do. I mean, it is so tall, it's just huge. I love the scale of it and I love that it can showcase so many different pieces. And then we still have those massive drawers below for so much storage. And this wall before was just empty. It actually used to be, I was able to find a picture from before we bought the home. It was an old listing photo and they had had that wall covered in family photos and stuff. And so taking that wall, um, that was really blank ultimately and turning it into storage space I think was just a game changer for the home. We did take out the old wall um, that had had some cabinets and, and so when we opened it up this was the perfect place to kind of move that storage space to that back wall. And it really does become a beautiful backdrop for that open floor plan. It's kind of centered in the space and really was um, a focal point and a place to kind of anchor that whole vision. It's fun to see all the things you can do with these built-in china cabinets and really bringing character to the home. I think that's one of the, the major upsides to them is that they, they give so much detail and interest and character to the home that wouldn't otherwise be there. And I do love furniture pieces too, but there is something that's just so unique. And um, right now I think too, so fresh about having this different unique cabinetry built right in to really give your home that customized feel. And even if you um, have a spot in your home where it could fit, but you never, it wasn't built with the home originally, that is something that you can have added to take a kind of a more cookie cutter feeling home and give it that customized feel. It can go a long way and really change the way you live and change your space and just utilize the space you have um, as well as possible. Big fan of the built-in china cabinet. As you can see um, through those examples I've shared from over the years, I've done some in client homes as well. And I think that so far everybody has been really happy with the choice to add in that, um, that detail and that storage. So that is this week's designer trend to look for, the built-in china cabinet. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. Check us out over on uh, Design Loves Detail on Instagram and designlessdetail.com where you can sign up for our mailing list as well.